CVA has been a dominant name in the muzzleloader world for nearly half a century, and I've been using them for the past 10 years with great results. In 2019, they launched the Paramount Long Range 45 caliber muzzleloader. That took things to the next level. We did a video review on this gun and was shooting groups out past 700 yards. For 2020, CVA's raised the bar even higher with this new Paramount Pro 45 caliber long range muzzleloader. And for those Colorado elk hunters, they've got a 50 caliber with a Williams peep sight. These rifles look a little different, but the meat and potatoes of them are still the same. The 26 inch nitride treated stainless steel free floating Bergara barrel is what gives you that superior long range accuracy. The barrels for 2020 on both the new Pro and the standard Paramount are threaded to accommodate a muzzle brake and can be purchased direct from CVA. The Pro has shaved off about a pound and a half to its total weight and for that the brake might be beneficial, but I didn't find the recoil to be an issue during my testing. The drop in weight comes from the Sporter Graybo fiberglass stock, which in my opinion is just a little better for hunting. At 8.7 pounds, it's way better for carrying on long days in the field. It's equipped with a high quality Trigger Tech trigger that's fully adjustable, and I've got mine set right at three pounds. The earth tone Cerakote finish blends well with the stock and provides great overall camo for our Western hunting. The trap door on the bottom is a great place to store extra vera flames. The rifle comes with a quake sling and quick releases, or you can utilize a standard sling swivel. If you do, you'll be happy to know there are two so you can keep your bipod attached. For this testing process, we top this rifle with a set of Tally lightweight one-piece rings where the ring and the base is combined. Less moving parts is always a benefit in my opinion, and these are standard rings and not the 20 MOA rings as is recommended in the owner's manual. I find that shooting at 5,500 feet of elevation, I can shoot out to at least 500 yards with the 200 yard zero. 500 yards is where the 280 grain ELR bullet drops below 1,000 foot pounds of energy, and I don't want to shoot an animal when that's the case. If you are looking to shoot further or live at a lower elevation, you might opt to use the 20 MOA basis. The mounting pattern is the same as the Remington 700, so bases are easy to find. For optics, we have a SIG Sierra 3 BDX rifle scope in 6.5 to 20 by 52, and we've also paired it with a Kilo 2200 BDX rangefinder. This setup allows me to plug in my verified ballistics data, and instead of adjusting a turret, the rifle scope lights up the correct holdover point. In the field, it's very fast and accurate, and we're going to show you just how good it is. You're going to want to pick up a few things to make sure you're ready for a day at the range. Pre-measuring your loads at 105 grains by weight and having enough for 30 to 40 shots is essential when you're going to do some testing. I like these Blackhorn 120 grain by volume tubes for range days, but more of the 150 by volume are great to have as well. The 120s fit in a standard 300 rum shell holder. The rifle comes with 10 of these Veriflame adapters. They look very similar to 209 shotgun primer, what's normal for a lot of muzzleloaders. The Veriflame adapters are specifically designed to hold a large rifle primer and come with a special tool to prime and unprime them. We recommend that you add more of these to your possibles bag, at least for range days. You'll also want to have plenty of 45 caliber 280 grain ELR bullets. The verified BC on these is .333 G1. We are sighted in at 200 yards and our ballistics data for a SIG PDX problem solver is 2,315 feet per second. This has been verified by hundreds of shots here at the range. We are at 5,400 feet of elevation, 60 degrees, and the station pressure of 30.11 and a humidity of 17%. This has all been verified before, so now all we need to do is pick a target between two and 500 yards, hit it with the range finder, wait for our holdover dot to light up, and then make a good trigger squeeze. We shot everything from 200, 300, 350, 4, 450, and 500 yards with this setup and the precision was off the charts. Oh, man, baby. This is one of the most effective muzzleloader setups I've ever put together. The accuracy of this Paramount Pro is nothing short of spectacular. After my brother used my Paramount to shoot a good buck at nearly 500 yards in 2019, I didn't think there was much room for improvement. I was definitely wrong. CVA has stepped it up with this new Paramount Pro 45 caliber muzzleloader. 
It has more repeatability than some center fire rifles that I've shot over the years, and it definitely makes a muzzleloader no longer a short range weapon. Stop by your local Sportsman's Warehouse and check out the Paramount and the Paramount Pro for yourself. And don't forget to get all the needed accessories for your upcoming hunts.